My name is Maureen, I'm a vet in All Creatures in Roscommon and today I'm going to demonstrate how to stomach tube a lamb. Colostrum is hugely important to a newborn lamb. Number one, it maintains body temperature and it also contains antibodies which are vitally important for a newborn against to protect the lamb against diseases. So by giving good quality a sufficient colostrum to your newborn lamb immediately after birth. It helps reduce losses due to hypothermia and diseases. So the three most important things to remember when giving colostrum to your lamb is, first of all, you want to get colostrum quickly into the lamb, preferably six hours after birth. Uh, this is when the gut wall of the lamb is most permeable to antibodies and it will go directly into the bloodstream, therefore protecting your lamb against diseases. Also, the quantity, you want to give regular small feeds to your lamb within 24 hours. So typically 50 ml per kg per feed regularly within your 24 hours. So if you have a 3 kg lamb, its daily intake should be roughly over a pint of colostrum. Also, the quality of your colostrum is very much dependent on the condition your yo is in. So body condition score is quite important. So you want your yo to be in good body condition score. Also, you want her vaccination again, especially against abortion and diseases such as clostridial diseases. Minerals is highly important. Make sure that your tube is clean, which is very important to, it's a new, to your newborn lamb. Just make sure that she's not going to be in contact with any infectious diseases. So mine, would you warm up the tube, I suppose, just to make it that bit easier for the lamb to swallow it? Yeah, you should. It's important just to warm it up. It'll make it easier for the lamb to swallow. It can go down much easier if you add a little bit of flexibility onto the tube. So if the lamb isn't swallowing the tube, uh, Maureen, it's best, I suppose, to take it back out again and try again. And exactly, yeah. If you're getting resistance as you're passing down the tube, then you, you may, you're as well to just come back up again and start again. Perfect. And I suppose then just the process of it, could you just demonstrate to us how you would yeah. to feed the lamb, so, please? First of all, get it secure, he's not going to run off. Yep. Um, so there's kind of two th important things. Um, here you'll feel, you should feel two, two tubes basically here. So one is your trachea, just go nice and easily. Just have a look to the left and you should see the tube. You'll feel the tube just going down on the left hand side. So you should be feeling two tubes there. One is a trachea and one is your own tube. And once you can feel that, you know it's safe to put in your colostrum. Once you get them up, they've got good quality colostrum into them. It's the best start for them. They're generally good, ready to go, healthy. I suppose if you all doesn't have enough colostrum, how can farmers work around that? Yeah, well, so they can get uh, artificial yeah. uh, colostrum, um, which are from their neighbours, just as long as it is quite important, as I said, with the thawing. If you have colostrum in the freezer, you want to thaw it very slowly, yeah. uh, not via microwave, it's too hot. Yeah. So, as in, let it stand for hours, yeah. let it thaw naturally, and that. And it should. would be since from a Kobe suitable as well? It can be an alternative, yeah. yeah. Um, it's not as good though. Uh, well, it's if if you have your your classroom from you, yes. But if you haven't, you can use yeah. from bovine. Yeah, perfect.